Hey there everyone and welcome back to a brand new Game Maker 2 tutorial and suggested by one of my viewers they would like to see the finished result of the tutorial before they watch the video so today I'm going to be showing you that this is what the result is going to look like. You guys are going to have your chests and you're going to be able to open them with randomized loot and the chests will disappear after the loot has spawned. Now that's pretty awesome in my opinion but I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create an object and we're just going to set up our little player object. But first of all, guys, I'm just going to show you. We have our... What we have set up is we have a chest with two different images. So we have a closed chest and an open chest. We also have a player image, which is a 32 by 32. And then three 16 by 16 colored boxes, just so that we can um, use it for the randomized loot that I'm going to show you guys. And then we also have a room that is just a 1280 by 720 room, nothing special. Uh, but without further ado, we're going to get started on the player object, as you guys know. I always do a little player object at the start of our tutorials. So we're gonna just set up the keys, which I'm gonna bring over from here. So key left is A, key right is D, key up is W, and key down is S. This is just basic variable setting, just so I can refer to these keys quicker than by writing it out myself. So if key up, we're gonna set the Y to minus equal four, and then we're just gonna copy this four times so then we have it four times, so then key down is going to be plus four, and then key uh, left is going to be x minus four, and then key right, no, key right is going to be x plus equals four. And that is everything we need for the player. We're actually just going to go ahead and plop the player into our room, and then we're going to close the room and go back to the objects, and now we're going to create obj underscore chest and in the chest we're going to assign the sprite first and in the create event we're going to write uh, to make sure that it doesn't uh, not to switch image without it we're going to set the image speed to equal zero so it doesn't accidentally switch and the image index to equal zero so it's indefinitely these two things that we're setting up at the start and we're also going to set up some chest variables um, so the variables are going to be chest triggered equals false and then chest opened equals false as well so this is basically checking that the chest hasn't already been triggered and hasn't already been opened so you can't get more than one bit of loot from it and also randomized loot we're gonna do loot equals choose and we're gonna do one comma one two comma two and then three comma three just so we can increase our randomized loot chances and that is everything that we need for the create event we're going to go ahead onto the step event i'm going to do if place underscore meeting x comma y comma obj underscore player um, and chest triggered is equal to false we're going to go ahead and if the keyboard underscore check underscore pressed is vk underscore space so if the keyboard has been pressed as well this is the only reason that it will trigger so if we are meeting the player and the chest hasn't already been triggered and we're pressing the space bar chest triggered is going to equal true so that means that we've triggered the chest and we're going to set up this if loot is equal to one and chest opened equals false we're just going to set this up on a one line instance underscore create underscore depth x comma y comma minus 100 or do we minus do do minus a thousand obj underscore one now we haven't done that yet and then we're also going to set chest opened to equal true and then we'll close that there so i'm actually going to bring this along a little bit so you guys can see the full line and then what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this three times along so then if loot equals two and if loot equals three it's going to create object two and then object three so then what the other thing that we need to do is we need to set alarm one to equal 60 so this is going to be the alarm is going to be for the kind of effect that the chest is fading out so this isn't obviously necessary if you guys just want to leave the chest uh permanently there on screen but i like having this little effect um which makes the chest disappear after you've triggered it we're also going to set the image index equal one so it's open and we're going to set the depth to equal to minus y 
Now, that is everything for the step event, as far as I know. Yeah, it is. That is everything for the step event. We're going to go back here. We're going to go into alarm one. And in alarm one, instance underscore destroy. That is it. And then in alarm two, we're going to do uh, alarm two equals three. So it triggers it again after it's been triggered. And visible equals not visible. So that's the kind of flashing effect that you guys are going to see um, when it kind of flashes over and over. So the other thing we have to do is we have to do obj underscore one and we'll set that to spr object one and we're going to duplicate this three times. I'm going to rename it to two and then we're going to duplicate it again and then rename it to three. But we need to change the sprites of course so we can see that this is working. So that is everything there. So when we go back into the chest and to the step event you can now see that these objects are nicely lined up there. So I'm quickly just going to go into the room and we're going to place maybe one, two, three, four, we'll just place like five, five, six chests. Why not six? And then I'll run the game. And here we are. We are in a game. We can move our player around and we go up to the chest and open it. It creates the randomized. So that is object number two. This one is going to create number three, number one, number one again. So that's the randomization coming in. It can create the same one more than once. Then we have one again, actually. Oh, so we have a lot of ones, but we also have a two and a three. But it basically works randomly, so that means for these ones, it's picked one, 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 and one, and then it's just gone through and searched for all of these. But yeah, that is basically the chess tutorial um, for Game Maker Studio 2. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to go ahead and leave a like and also comment and go and check out my last video which was a game devlog on the game I'm working so you guys can see what I'm currently working on. But without further ado, I've been GM Guru and I hope you guys have a nice day. Bye bye.